Hi, I'm Rochelle and welcome to Point the Way. This video training series is designed to build your knowledge about tourism in the Stevens Point area while enhancing your customer service skills. The Stevens Point Area Convention and Visitors Bureau is excited to invite you to Point the Way. The program is designed to help promote excellence in hospitality for the region. This video is specifically for the frontline staff of Portage County. Whether you work at a hotel, a gas station, a retail shop, or a restaurant, you have the power to influence the visitor's experience. We will cover topics to help educate the workforce about the importance of customer service skills, as well as becoming a knowledgeable resource about the local area. Before we begin, let's consider the importance of the visitor experience and how a good or bad customer interaction can affect that. Imagine for a second that you're on vacation. When you arrive, you enter the front doors of a business, but you are ignored. When you approach an employee, they don't even look up as you ask them a question. The answer you received is mumbled under their breath, and the only directions you get are a slight gesture down the hallway. Do you feel welcome and happy to be in this business, or do you feel like a nuisance and an inconvenience? How can we prevent this from occurring with guests in the Stevens Point area? Well, it's all about first impression. The first impression is our way to roll out the red carpet and start building those customer relationships. When guests first arrive, how do we make them feel welcome? We can offer them a pleasant welcome or hello, extend them a friendly compliment, use their name, ask them a question, all using a gentle tone of voice. This displays a positive attitude and positive body language. Offering a friendly welcome is more than just what you say. Often your customers and guests are on vacation and in a good mood. We can keep them in a good mood by being in good moves ourselves. Rather than showing a negative attitude, smile and extend a friendly welcome. Like, hi, good afternoon, I'm Rochelle, how can I help you? Then listen to your guests. Sometimes your guests might need help articulating their need, question, or issue. To help the best, you might need to ask some clarifying questions. Open-ended questions help get at the big picture, while closed-ended questions help narrow the conversation and help the guests to obtain details in order to choose without being pushy. To continue to roll out the red carpet for exceptional customer service, be sure to address them by name. Using last names can also be highly respectful. Again, addressing individuals by their name can be especially helpful in return visits since you remember them. This is the first step to building loyal customers. When dealing with customers and guests, the words you choose are important. However, just as equally important is how you say them. Remember the phrase, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. For example, say a customer enters and you greet them by saying, what do you want? This creates a sense of irritability and leaves the customer in an uncomfortable position. Instead, try greeting the customer by saying, good afternoon, how can we help you? The words and tone make a difference. To ensure a positive tone, try smiling. This can even help your tone of voice over the phone. Just as you would smile and use a positive tone, it's important to project positive body language. Don't slouch, don't look irritated. Body language says a lot. In fact, 7% of what we say comes from the words we use. 38% of what we say comes from the tone of voice or how we deliver the words. 55% of what we say comes from nonverbal cues and body language. Finally, end the conversation or interaction with the guest on a positive note. Thank them, state something positive, or let them know how you will address their needs. People tend to remember the end of a conversation, so end it on a high note. Now, let's revisit the first example during this session. How can we change the customer's experience positively? Instead of walking in and being ignored, what should the clerk do? The clerk should offer a friendly welcome by acknowledging the guest warmly and asking, how may I help you? Remember, first impressions are important. One of the key responsibilities of those working in the hospitality and tourism industry is to provide travelers for a reason to come back. Customer service never ends. To keep building on the rapport you have created with the customer, remember a few key things to take your next interaction from good to great. Look enthusiastic. Project a professional image. Greet with a warm smile. Make friendly eye contact. Be aware of your body language. Choose a positive attitude. If a patron doesn't return to your place of business, there may be a few explanations. 3% don't come back because they move away. 5% don't come back because they develop other relationships with other businesses. 9% don't come back because they are dissatisfied with the product. Those all seem like pretty logical reasons to not come back. But 68% don't come back because they experience an attitude of indifference or rudeness towards the customer by the owner, manager, or an employee. 